Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick little um, tutorial video for you about how to use the Challenge Tracker app. This app is absolutely awesome. I've been using it for my past two challenge groups, so I just wanted to quickly show you how to use it, how to set up a group, how you can schedule your posts, um, how to invite people to it, and all that good stuff so that if you want to run your next challenge group with this app, that you can do so. So I'm gonna screen share really quick. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you go to the website. You're going to go to mychallengetrackerportal.com. Um, you're gonna sign in with your Beachbody um, email and your password, and it'll open you up to a screen that looks like this. This will be blank though. That's my current group I have running right now. But you are going to click right here where it says new group, and I'm not gonna set one up because I don't need to, but um, just to show you how to, you clicked on create group, and then you're gonna go in here and you're gonna type in the name of your challenge. So it could be something like summer slim down. And then you're gonna pick what your start date is. And I would suggest starting it, having it open, um, at least you know three days before the challenge group starts so that you can put up all your posts about food prepping and having a why and setting goals and just kind of get people ready and excited for the challenge and share whatever you need to share with them. Maybe it's um, nutrition tips, food prep tips, a couple recipes, and like I said, go over their why and their goals and things like that so that they know what to expect. And then you're gonna choose how many days it's going to run for. So for example, if it's a 21 day fixed group, you can click here and you can type in 21 days. Um, or if you're starting at three days early, you'll put 24 days or something like that. <clears throat> and then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna select, say you're using the 21 day fix or maybe you're doing a three day refresh challenge group or 22 minute hard corps, you're gonna choose whatever program or you can choose multi-program. That's what I choose because some of my challengers are doing different programs. And then you can go down here and you can write a brief description of what your challenge group is going to entail. So you'll be sharing recipes, accountability, motivation, um, you know, positivity, keeping people on track, whatever it is that you want them to know, um, to get them excited about your group and what you're gonna be sharing there. And then you can select an image that's going to be the main screen of your challenge group right here. And you can put whatever you want in there. You can put a quote, you can put a picture. Um, and then once you've done that, you're gonna go down here and click create group. And like I said, I'm not going to do it because I don't need to set one up at the moment but I just wanted to show you how. So now, that's what I did with this group right here. So this is my summer, my summer strong boot camp. Um, I have it running for 30 days, and I have it as a multi-program. So I'm gonna go in here and show you. You can actually post to your challenge groups right here from your computer, um, but what I've been doing is I've been going right here, and I don't know if you can see my phone, but we have a little, my challenge tracker um, app right here. And so you're gonna open that and it's gonna look like this. So it has a little spot where you can click to add your workouts, add your Shakeology, and then just like it would be in a Facebook challenge group, you have the ability to post to the newsfeed. So you can share um, your meals, you can share your sweaty selfies, you can you know share inspiration or you can share links to you know meal prep tips or recipes whatever it is you want and you can scroll through and you can see everybody's post right here on the app which is I think is awesome um, so I wanted to show you though quickly now I can scroll through and see all the posts that are going up in the challenge group right now you can like things just like on Facebook you can comment on these posts see I posted my my food shopping today to show them that today was my shopping day and it's gonna be my prep day today as well. Um, and then this is how you're gonna do if you want to do schedule posts. Right over here on the right side it says schedule or draft posts. So if you wanna go ahead and schedule your entire challenge group, all your posts um, prior to it so that you know every single day something is going up every morning to prompt them to do something or share something, um, 
you can go ahead and do that. So I have post-croned all the posts for the first two weeks of the group so far. I've done this today. I have to finish the rest of it now, but I wanted to show you this as I was doing it. So what you do, let's see what my last post was. The last post was for Friday the 27th. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open up my I have my challenge group guide saved to my computer with all the pictures that I use for it. And I would suggest you do the same. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, so that when I'm running a challenge group, I can go in and I can just copy paste what I'm putting in it and change it up if need be, depending on what the group is and what the theme is and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I do. So this last one I posted was for Friday. So I know, let's see, that my next one, I'm going to do this one. So I copy paste it. I go over here. And in here, I'm going to say add post. I'm going to copy. Oh, I got to have to check and make sure that date is the right one. Sorry, guys. So the 12th, okay. So add posts, and then I'm gonna paste this here. And I'm prompting them to share their snack of the day, their favorite snack for the weekend. So I can go in here and I can look in my challenge group guide for the picture that I have saved for that. Let's see here. Um, okay, so this is an example of a snack that I could make. So I add the photo to it. I make sure the text and everything is what it's supposed to be. And then I go ahead and I schedule it for the proper day. So this last one was that Friday. So I'm going to put this there on Saturday. And then I have all my posts go up at 6 a.m. in the morning so that there's something there to prompt them to be responsive every single day. So once you have put in the date and time that you want this post to post, you just click schedule. And then you can go and it'll it'll show you all your schedules and your scheduled and draft posts. So I can go through and I can see day one, day two, day three, day four, and I can see what date and what time they're going to be posting. Um, and that way it saves you a ton of time because it can literally take you 40 minutes and you can sit down and schedule out your entire challenge group. And then all you have to do every day is check in, share your sweaty selfies, share something motivational, share a recipe, share what you're eating, like and comment on people's posts to keep them engaged. And this, I just think is absolutely awesome because it allows you to, a lot of people haven't accepted the request yet, so there's only nine people in it right now. But I wanted to also show you how to do the invites to this. So you click right here on invitations, and whoever your newer challengers are, or even if they're challengers from the past that want to be in a new group or whatever, you're going to go here and you're going to type their name in. So I'll put my name in there. You type in their email address, and then you click add to list. I can't do it because mine was already there, but once you have a valid email that's that's in there, this will turn, I believe it turns orange, and it'll say invite participants. So you can do them one at a time, but I would suggest going right into your Coach Online office, seeing all your new challengers, and I copy paste their email right into here and type their name in, and then I invite them all at one time. So that is how you invite to it. And once you've done those, you can go back and see view sent invitations right here. So these are all the invitations that I've sent to this boot camp. A lot of people haven't opened it yet. So I know I can go follow up and let them know that there is an email waiting for them to, for them to accept. Um, and I can also, in case they didn't see it or it went to spam or something like that, you can click resend and it will resend them the invite to the challenge group. And it'll show you right here, you'll see that little green box pop up right here, that it was resent. So I know that all of these people are getting my invite to my challenge group again.
just to make sure that they get it, they've seen it, and that they accept the invite to the group. So that is how you do that. Um, you can also, there's a place right here, I need to do this today as well, but I was having trouble with it, where you can add files. So if you wanted to put in um, things like 21 day fixed sample meal plan or a fixed foods list or something like that, that is where you would do that as well. So I hope this is helpful in getting you to understand a little bit more about how the challenge tracker works how you log into it, how you invite, how you post, how you can schedule your posts. Um, and I would highly suggest that you try using this for your next challenge group because it is absolutely awesome. So have a good day, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.